tour is sort of the sporting capital of Australia. There's so many uh, major events happening. You've got the Australian Open, you've got like the F1 sort of racing as well as mixing up with the AFL, the Rugby League and of course uh, us now, the Melbourne Rebels, Rugby Union. Uh, look, I think probably Amy's one of the best stadiums I've played at. Um, there's so much sort of support going on, it's a very loud crowd and there's, uh, there's a lot happening here. Everyone's pretty passionate about their sport and gets behind uh, everything going on. Yeah, well they all say Melbourne is the capital of, uh, of, of all sports, so uh, no, the people are great down here, they, they, uh, they love their sports and uh, no matter what it is, um, they get behind you and it's, uh, it's such a good feeling to be able to walk down the streets and know that uh, you know, a whole town, a whole city is uh, behind you. They, uh, they call themselves the sport capital and, and they definitely live up to that. They're, they're unbelievable. I just don't, I don't think they care who they support as long as it's a Melbourne team. So we've been quite lucky there to have the full support of Victoria. Yeah, it's massive. I guess uh, a passionate crowd can sort of get you over the line. I know uh, playing test matches and also for the Rebels now, having that Rebel Army there and sort of a crowd that just sort of when you need it mostly, when you're maybe about to score a try to win the game or sort of you guys are down defending your line that can sort of be the extra thing that gets you guys over the line. Yeah, very important to be able to have fans, um, friends, family, um, you name it, um, the whole lot behind you um, in a dying um, moment in the game, um, whether it be at the start or, 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 or the finish. Um, you know, just that support, um, it, it, it plays a big role in, in, in the, you know, determining games. That, like I said before, it gives the guys an extra arm and leg to be able to get over the line in the dying, in the dying minutes. And, you know, definitely getting to know Gareth Delve, you can, you can see how passionate they are about the sport and, and how passionate they are about their country. They're, they're definitely one of the most patriotic countries I've ever been in, like seen, been involved in. So. They're going to bring a lot of passion to over here. They're not coming over here for a holiday. They're coming over here and they're going to be really competitive. So, you know, if the Australian team aren't on their toes, it's going to be a very difficult battle. Well, if you look at sort of Wales and their Six Nations and even sort of the previous two years in the World Cup as well, they're, they're a pretty young team, I guess, like ourselves. And they, they've got sort of uh, that sort of flair about them. Obviously, they're missing sort of one of their key players in Jamie Roberts, but I think it's giving another couple of guys the opportunity. They can throw the ball around pretty well and also they've got a big pack. So, sort of if we can mix it up up front, Hopefully we get some success like we have uh, the last couple of years. Yeah, they're, 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 they're all big humans over there and um, you know, no doubt uh, you know, that, that's, that's some of their strengths. But you know, in saying that, um, you know, as Wallabies, we, 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 there's a lot of uh, areas we can attack and uh, you know, being big and mobile, um, I guess it allows for us young nippy backs out wide to be able to um, capitalise on that and uh, you know, really take it forward to them. So it's exciting. Um, you know, obviously. They are the, the reigning uh, Six Nation champs, and um, you know it's a, it's, a, it's a huge challenge for us. And um, you know after a disappointing uh, loss, uh, a disappointing World Cup, I know a lot of the boys are determined to turn it around and uh, you know start really well. Obviously, we've got a first game against Scotland, but uh, I think um, you know the opportunity to play the Welsh in a three three Test series, uh, I think it's a great opportunity for um, for us as a as a group to be able to um, you know set a benchmark.